Welcome to another beautiful morning in the lair of forgotten bears. As the warm light of the sun washes over Bear Square, Chatter inside his cave wakes up to noises just outside his front door. He steps out onto his porch to see Ringtoss, his best friend in the entire lair, building something brand new in his garage. Wow! Oh, good morning, Chatter. Sorry if I woke you up. What's this, Ring Toss? It's the brand new bike I built with my own two paws. That's so cool. Are you going to take it for a ride? Can I take it for a ride? It's not finished, and I think it might be too big for you. Oh, come on, Ring Toss. I can do it. Do you know how to ride a bike? No, but I can learn. How about I take you for a ride once I've finished? That's not the same. I really want to ride it by myself. I know, buddy. But we need to be safe. And I don't want you getting hurt. Oh, okay. I'll come and get you when it's all finished. Still very disappointed about not getting to ride Ring Toss's new bike, Chatter walks all alone high above Bear Square. I wish Ring Toss would let me ride his new bike. Wait, there it is, and no one is around. If Ring Toss saw me ride it, he would know I was big enough. But he said I couldn't. But Ring Toss didn't say I couldn't sit on his new bike. Plus, there's no one out here right now, so no one will see me do it. I'll just sit on it for a second. This is so cool. Uh-oh, why is it moving? What's happening? Stop, not the steps. Ah! Oh, oh, please stop. No! Ah! Oh no, Ringtoss is going to be so mad at me. But wait, nobody saw me do it, so I can just leave it here. Run back to my cave, and no one will ever know it was me. Hey, where's my new bike? Uh-oh. Shatter, are you home? Oh, hi Ring Toss. How are you? Uh, what's going on? Do you know what happened to my new bike? Um, I do. I mean, it was right there outside your garage. But now it's gone. I was going to tell you, but you weren't around. It, uh, it rolled away. I was inside my cave, and I heard a noise. And when I looked out here, I saw it rolling down the hill all by itself. Hey, Ring Toss. Yes, honey? Why is your new bike in the lake? What? Now how did it get here? It must have rolled down from Bear Square. I just don't know how that could have happened. Maybe you forgot to put on the brakes? I thought I did, but maybe I forgot. Do you need help taking it out of the lake? Yes, please. I'll go get some old bears to help. This makes me so sad. Huh? Are you okay, Chatter? Um, yeah. I'll go get help too. You just wait right there. I'll be back. <sighs> I feel terrible this morning. What's wrong with me? Chatter? Are you okay? Um, yes. I'm fine. You sound funny. Do you need me to call Puppet to check on you? No, I'm... I'm... I'm just practicing a new character for the stage. Oh, well, that sounds really scary. I can't wait to see the show. I'll be in my garage if you need anything, buddy. I can't let Ring Toss or any other forgotten bear see me like this. There's only one place I can run away to. 
as Chatter runs away from his cave, his ring on a string snaps off and falls to the ground. He hides from forgotten bears as he sneaks out of Bear Square and crosses the bridge to Misby Cave, the cave of the misbehaved, guarded by a tiny but brave soldier bear named Tyson. Two, three, four, Chatter turn, waits for Tyson two, to turn, three, four, then look, runs two, to the cave. Three, four, he hides turn, behind the rocks, two, three, and as he does, four. the mouth of Misby Cave opens. Huh? You there! Halt! Tyson raises over, but it's too late. Inside Misby Cave, Chatter makes his way towards the light at the end of the tunnel. And when he steps out into the fall forest, he steps out as a little green troll. And who does Chatter see fishing in the swamp outside their pile of black rocks? Cobalt and Puck. Ah! Puck! Why do you always have to scare me? I, I, I mean, scare the fish like that. What? Hey, you there. What are you doing in my forest? Chatter? Are you okay? Chatter, you home? What's wrong, Ringtoss? Have you seen Chatter? Not today. How about you, Puppet? Uh, I haven't, but look what I found. Chatter's ring on a string. How did that happen? Chatter must be in trouble. Sir! Huh. Sorry to sneak up on you like that, sir. But someone entered Misby Cave. Was it Chatter? They were small like Chatter, and real quick. So I didn't really get a good look at them. Is it possible that Chatter Misby Cave. Maybe we should check the fall forest, just in case. If Chatter's in trouble, we need to do everything we can to help. It'll be quicker if we travel in me airship. I'll prep her for our journey. What are you doing here? I didn't know where else to go. Go cause trouble like we trolls do. I don't like causing trouble. Don't like causing trouble? Then go make fun of someone or make them feel bad, or do something that gets people angry. I don't know how to do those bad things. How is that possible? Bad is what we trolls are all about. I don't know how to be a troll. Obviously. Well, the first thing you need to do is find a pile of black rocks to live under. A place where you can spread nastiness without anyone knowing it's you. What about friends? Friends? Who cares about friends? Being a troll is all about you and what you care about. That doesn't sound like fun. Fun comes from the bad we trolls create. That's not good. Exactly. Not good at all. You know what? I have something that will answer all your questions. Puck, where's that book? The Book of Trolling. Yes, yes, the How to Be a Nasty and Meanwhile Terrible and Twisted Troll Spreading Nothing But Yuckiness and Blah book. Ah, okay. Now, you stay here, little troll, and we'll go get it for you. Back in the lair, the Forgotten Bears climb aboard Puppet's pirate ship, Air Balloon, and prepare for takeoff. Raise anchor! I saw something, over there, by the bridge, behind those big trees. I'll set her down in that clearing. Everyone be careful, and I'll keep my eye on you from the air. And everybody, be on the lookout for Kobold and Puck. They could be anywhere out here. Ringtoss, where did you see what you saw? Over there, around those trees by the bridge. Look, Chatter? 
Is that you? Yes, but don't look at me. Chatter, what happened to you? I turned into a troll. How did that happen? I changed after I lied to Ring Toss about crashing his new bike in the lake. You did that? Yes, and I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have taken your bike after you told me not to. And I shouldn't have lied to you about it. You're filled with the yuckiness that comes from lying to Ring Toss. And all those bad feelings deep down inside you have come up to the surface, making you look this way. It hurts really bad. Hearing you lie to me hurts too. But I'm glad you told me the truth now. But I'm a troll. You're a forgotten bad heart. And that's something that will never change. Telling the truth, admitting your mistake was the first step in getting better. Ahoy! Forgotten bears! I think it's time we get back to the lair. Puppet is right. We're not safe out here. Okay, I found it. It's a thick book, but don't worry. Most trolls aren't that smart, so it's mostly pictures. Hey, where did that little troll go? Forgotten bears? Here? Get them, Puck. It's Gobo. What do we do? Go! Take Chatter through the entrance tree cave. I'll take care of Kobold and Puck. Come on, Forgotten Bears. Everyone hurry. Lasso overboard! I've got you this time, Forgotten Bears. You can't get away from me. You might as well stop running. Huh? What is that? Uh-oh. Ah! I'll meet you back at the lair. Right after I kill all these two. Wait, how can I go through the welcome tree cave looking like this? It's not what you look like, Chatter. It's the kindness and love in your heart which allows you to pass through the cave. And you're the most kind and loving teddy bear I know, Chatter. Come on, we'll all go through together. You can't do this to us. Let us down, right this second. Oh, you want down now? Yes, now. As you wish, Cobalt. Corporal Tyson, cut him loose. Aye, sir, cutting the rope. Ah! Lost you, forgotten bears. I'll get you one of these days, and none of your fancy toys will stop me. I'm back to normal. Thank you, everyone. I really learned a lesson about lying. We know you have, Chatter. And I forgive you, Chatter. Thank you, Ring Toss. That makes me feel a little better. If this ever happens again, I hope you'll be honest with me. We're best buddies. You can tell me anything. It will never happen again, I promise. Because I never want to feel that bad ever again, and I'll do whatever it takes to make it up to you, Ring Toss. How about you help me fix my bike? And when we're finished, we build a new bike just for you. That would be great. Ahoy, Forgotten Bears! Ahoy, Ahoy puppet. puppet! The very next day, Chatter kept his promises to help his very best friend in the lair fix his brand new bike and to never lie to him or any forgotten bear ever again. The end.